Alright guys, so today I just want to do a another video y'all because I'm on that road. First, I just want to let y'all know that I got you. I got you. So, uh, first of all, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you go ahead and click that bell for the notifications because y'all, I'm coming through in 2018 with the videos. Anyway, so I wanted to come through with a quick video. So I'm trying to keep my videos under five minutes. So I wanted to come through and do a quick video about how to do crochets. Now, uh, of course, everybody shows you different ways to do crochets, how to do it with a threader, a beater, or whatever, string, thread, all the case may be. So if you guys don't remember, I'll put a little screen grab right there. Um, one of my first videos that actually got over 60,000 views was a video about how to do your crochet uh, braids without a uh, crochet needle, without one of these, without a latch hook. Um, and that was back in the day, like three, four years ago. Like I said, I've been doing crochets for a long, long, long time. Um, I've had different methods over the years, and I see now they're coming through with the whole, you know, braidless crochets and invisible crochets. But this video today I want to show you is a quick video of how you can do your crochet. If you don't have one of these, if you can't find one of these, you can use stuff that you got at home. So the first thing I got is a piece of wire. Now this is one of those flimsy wires. Yeah, one of those flimsy little wires. So the video I'm about to show you guys is showing you how I use this wire bent like this to do crochet. Now I got this wire from like a picture wall hanging kit that I got from the dollar store. So you can say this costs about a dollar. Bobby pin. Now this is a small bobby pin, but if you use a bigger bobby pin, that is going to be your best bet. Again, you want to see that in the video. So you can use a bobby pin to do your crochet, or a little uh, piece of wire. Even if you want to use a bag tie, you can do that. Anything that has a piece of wire. I mean, even if your piece of wire, um, really kitty? Even if a piece of wire um, has gotten, like, I don't know, out of a piece of material or Hell, if you can push one of these cords through your braids, you can use a cord. But I think the most unique way that I figured out how to do crochet braids is with a tweezer. Because y'all know we all got tweezers. So yes, I want to show you how to use a tweezer, a bobby pin, and a piece of wire like MacGyver <laughs> to do your crochet braids. So go ahead and check that video out. Now, the first thing you want to use is some wire okay so you want to go ahead and fold the metal just like this okay no matter if it's big or small and you want to get it right underneath just like that just like a beater all you got to do is just like with the hook pull it under there pull it through and bam so again, you could use a bobby pin like this. Mine's is kind of small, but you can just, if you use a bigger bobby pin, you want to use bigger bobby pin. I only got a small one, but I can still show you how to do it with the small one. Y'all don't look at my nails. Put that under there. See, halfway out, halfway in. Now if this was longer, I would be able to really stretch it out, but it's not. So I only can pull it, bam. See how easy that was? The main thing, see, bam. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? But don't be scared to you do is some tweezers. Okay? So, squeeze these together. Put your tweezers underneath. Now this method might be harder. But if you want crochet sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Bam. See how I just pulled that straight through? And again, you can do that all the way through. I'm doing it on the flat part. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it on the thick part. Squeeze the needles, squeeze it together. Um, put the crochet on there. Squeeze 
close it, pull it through. Bam, you got your loop, open it up, and pull it through just like that. You got the bobby pin, and you can use tweezers, tweezers, clips, head, or use this. And you can do this for your whole head. Um, and you can even do it with braidless crochet. You see my, this side is flat. Even the flat side, you can still put it under. As long as you can put something under it. Now, but those are my three methods to do it. Crochet here. So that was my video on how you can do your crochet braids without using a latch hook. Now, of course, I got about two or three of these. But sometimes people don't have the time to go out and get one of those they kind of just want to you know do their crochets and keep it moving so those are three unique ways that you can do your crochet braids at home and you don't really need the tools my main thing is look if you can just go ahead and put something under that braid you're going to pull something out the braid okay simple as that like i said in my in my first video that i ever did on crochet you can tie your shoe you can do a crochet if you can tie a shoe, you can crochet. So, baby, it is not that hard. Anyway, I just want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you ever used any of these methods or if you have any special methods that you use below in the comments. And, of course, I will be back with another video. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Don't forget, you can follow me on all social media. The links are in the info box. And thank you for watching.